Welcome to Oxygen Not Included. My name is Nila, so this is episode 10 of our Let's Play campaign. And we are, um, well, since we're now reaching level 10, I am going to have to make some kind of changes to this uh, Let's Play because uh, the base is growing and evolving and all that good stuff. So I won't be able to do everything on camera. And I don't think we are actually particularly interested in doing that either. So really longer term, I want to get oil, but that's kind of a way off. Oh, we got some trap dupes. Yeah, that's not really a big deal. I mean, that's kind of expected when they do like this. Um, but you know, like any of these would be nice. Any of those would be real nice. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna get trapped as well. Oh, come on, come on. Why do we start with like a trap thing? Come on. There we go, and everyone's happy. Boom. Okay, let's um, get this priority just down to normal. Normal. Anyway, uh, so what I want to do today is actually make some kind of automated critter killing. One of this, pl one of the issues is here. I have lots and lots of room here, but I don't have lots of room on the other side. So right now I'm just fearing a lot of copper from the first planet over to the second planet. And that's all nice and good. But what about food? Now we have a lot of grub grubs. We have a lot of places here actually I'd want to make sure that I don't have to build everything at multiple locations so what I would like to do is actually send yeah we have a lot of stuff here what is what is this what do we have here a sage hatchling kill it we never want sage hatchlings we actually could take hmm where's our where's our that one that's uh, going back let's get this one teleporter is come on Let's, I want to click the actual teleport. Something was wrong again. Oxygen. What are you? What's your problem? Ah, it's combat. Okay, let's uh, let's get those. Um, is this done? Click it. Activate. That's why. And let's see. Do we have anyone who can activate? Savatron can do it. This is his number two task. Okay. Five people are starting fighting. Okay. So what do we want is I actually think I want to make this location into a farm because I can actually I can actually do that. This area here is 24 by 24. If I slide it over, it's going to be 25 by 25, which is what I want for the hatch farming. So let's build the hatch farming. Let's like this and let's build more of those because that's yeah okay. So let's uh, build some hatch farming and uh, we want first we want to get over here. Get that one is sorted. I'm going to take this one is not powered and it will take critter eggs, all of the hatchling eggs, and especially the stone hatchling eggs. Absolutely. And I'm going to do allow a manual use and I'm going to find some power to get in there. That one and take that out. We don't want to use that yet, just yet. So, what we really want to do is <laughs> clean up a lot of the crap that we have lying around here. We want to actually move the, the farms or back to the first planet and then transport food back to this planet as well. Ah, it's too much. It should be somewhere I must be able to do it, right? Yeah. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, do we want one more dupe? I think dupe is, is pretty risky at this point, but we can try to see if we can find one more dupe that we can get on our planet. I'll just take a look at the next dupe will be Arthur Dent. Well, can we find a good Arthur Dent dupe to go on the first planet? Let's see what it is we actually need on this planet. Yes, they hasn't broken yet. On the my primary planet, what do we have? We have a... There. Oh, you really should go up there and get some more aesthetic design. Maybe even get that one. That could be a bit high for your... Well, you will get it. Masterworks, perfect. Then we have someone who could do that. Sabatron. What am I? Am I seeing something we don't have? Crop tending. You already have that. Uh, we only have. Okay, we have two who can. Uh, we have a Sabatron can also do research. Yes, research. Good. All right. I don't really know what we want. Uh, building, digging. We don't really need so much digging and building these days. Aesthetic design. You can get that one as well. Can you get that one? Yeah. It's going to be a bit much, but let's make things nice around here. Cooking. Hey, we're just going to go more of these things. Building. I don't want to go too high on this ranching. They're both preferable. 
Yeah, we're gonna expand on the second planet. Critter ranching as well. Yep. And cooking. That's a bit high. Cabbage. I don't think there's a uh, building. We can do that. It's also mechatronic. Thank you. We have a mechatron another mechatronic. Let's go through all of them to make sure that we have something tinkering. Correlate, you're already pretty high on this. So. That's going to be a bit out of the way. Not going to do that just yet. Tidying. And Sabaton, we didn't want to do it. Skippy, you already got what you want. We can do another pilot because we'd like to get another pilot soon-ish. Soon. Tracer, your... Hmm. I'll do that. I really don't want them more than like 12 or something. That's a pretty safe location. Great. Let's see if we find something. Well, did we get a really good one? Researching, digging. New lamps, no thanks. Unempathetic is trivial. Unempathetic is great. So the decor morale bonus is bad. Increased husbandry, digging, decorating, farming, supplying, cooking, deck, doctoring. Do we have a doctor? No. Well, I think this is Arthur Dent. Arthur Dent, thank you so much for your long-standing support on Patreon. And this is where I pick the name of the dupes. We now have eight on each planet, and that's kind of where I want to be. And we... Oh, see, now it's broken. It always breaks. I think it breaks when you get a new one. Uh, carrying. That's a good place to start. There. I'm not going to set you any priorities. Oh, you should have been grilling, but whatever. So, <clears throat> two things we want to do now. I want to build up this one. And on the other planet, I want to hollow out this planet because this there's so, so much room over here that we want to get and we just don't have enough room on this planet. So let's uh, queue up some commands and let's come back after that. Okay, so what we've done now is we've queued up some, some builds here. There's uh, a lot of farms and what we need to do is we need to go back here and let's have a, so have a look. First of all, I'll just queue this up, get that faster, done. Thank you very much. And what we've also done, and that's perfect timing. <clears throat> uh, you are, why would you do that? Let's see, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of not great. Let's make sure that there's a few ladders here as well. And that one, let me see. Do you have access to anything from here? Not really. Not really. Uh, could you get, like, Igneous Rock? No, you can't even dig that one out. Uh, whatever. These two? Yeah, you can build those sandstone. Sure. This should be fine. Right? You good? Yeah, you can then start digging your way through this one. Perfect. And what I've done here as well is... I'll take all these back panels here. Uh, we've dug out a lot of stuff and this part, the reason why we dig out this part is simply just to get some more room. But the great thing is, and I was ecstatic when I found it, look at this down here. I have uh, nothing and what I have here, 450 plus 450, that's 900 kilos of oil right there. And it's n very, very cool so i actually have some oil available that i can get i was kind of thinking about going down here but it's like a thousand uh, kilo or grams or something it's very very low so i actually have access to oil down here and i'm gonna work my way there once all of this is done so let's uh, speed this up we are speeding up and what i also want to do is make sure that this one is it's set to critters uh, do we have any work errands yes we do actually so that should be high priority actually super high priority even uh, so anytime we have any kind of stuff, uh, that is a normal hatchling. I will wrangle you. Sage hatchling eggs. I don't like the fact that they're sage hatchling eggs, and I know why. It's because they keep keep eating bad stuff. So what I need to do as well is just do some kind of sweeping. It's not going to be a high priority sweeping, but you know, just just sweep. Copper is coming in here. It's very. It's not actually a very nice capacity. Uh, and again, trapped. Are you kidding me? Oh, you... Well, you know what? You can just dig out this one then. It's St. Cabbage again. St. Cabbage just really enjoys being locked in there. Hmm. Alright, get him down there. Come on, PTTR. You can get rescued. You can rescue him. There we go. So what I want to do is also I want to take this water and just feed it back. 
here to the other location, which is actually fine. It makes sense. I'd have to do this as well to even get up there and do that. Food-wise, this is one of my bigger concerns in terms of food on this planet. Sage hatchling eggs. I have two sage hatchling eggs that I don't know what to do with. I'm currently just going to ignore those. All right, so let's see. We are now going to let the time progress just a bit because right now there's no timing issue. So let's just have a look at this one. All right, let's move back. We have to get this one and let's take a look back at the other planet and look at this. Everything is getting working on here. It's looking good. We do have some issues, not surprising. We have some water. We have some things that need to be swept here. I think I actually want to sweep the whole damn thing. It's a bit ambitious, but we will. Okay, so this is done. This one is for hatches. The other ones are for stone hatches. Everyone's happy. I hope. And something is wrong on Bobliel. I'll go back here and take a look. What is the problem? Breathability? Yeah, it is. It's okay. About this one? Oh, I can't even... Oh, they decided to make it into a painting that I can actually use. It sucks. And... That one and that one to be here. We also have, yeah, breathability is going to be haunting us for a long time. We're getting a lot of carbon dioxide. Luckily, we get more space, so it's still going to be all of this. And I want to start venting things to space, but do I have enough power to do that? Yeah, they actually look okay. So let's build another thing on top of all the other things we're building. I do have my plan that I want to focus on getting the ranches up and running because food is not great around here. Let's do just that one and simply put. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, that can't be done for anything, so just put it up there. Everything should be possible. And down here, just need some power. I'm gonna get this one. That is a lot of iron ore we have on this planet now. Let's uh, get that stopped on the first planet and go back here. And this is where we just were ferrying over copper ore. I will just don't do that one anymore. Metal ore, copper. We should be having enough copper both locations. And oxygen is great here. They really shouldn't be running around down here at all anymore. What they need to do is just build this part here and Look, it's looking good. And do we get any hatches? Let's see if we can get any hatches here. Uh, no. Bristleberries? Mm, I'll put that on the second planet. We're not going to take any more dupes anytime soon. Not until we actually get the last planet up and running. There we go. A bit of food. This one is just something you build. And it'll, it'll get done when it gets done. I'd like to actually get a little uh, Atmos sensor, element sensor here. That one. This one should detect carbon dioxide. If it does, then it's great. Food is very bad. Okay, so now we can actually get down here. We're not finding anything down here for usable. But we, the good thing is we have now cleaned up all of the nasty water. Is it time for us to start killing some hatches on this planet? Not really. And uh, let's just check. Ah, oh, there's a hatchling egg. Let's see if th what happens with the hatchling egg. The hatchling it should be that was the hatchling egg being picked up and being brought up here i don't like that they are getting soggy feet while going up here that's kind of shitty so let's dig this out that gives us hatchling eggs and on this planet i am going to take more hatchling eggs all of this needs to be done oh that one uh shit I have to build this. Okay, so priority six on all of this. Thank you very much. Uh, also, you know, all of it. I want to get all of it out. We do have a infinite storage. Yes, we do have an infinite storage here. That one also gets done. I'm just me really feeling I'm missing a lot of, a uh, lot of power here. This, this I'm not gonna keep. Um, I'm wondering if I should actually get some of the food here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's transport some food over. Uh, what do we want? Cooked fish might be something. And Schwabby's Light is the majority of things. So we'll take barbecue and cooked fish and send it over. Let's do that. 
I'd really like to not do this. I'd really like to automate this. Let's do that. Copper 225. There we go. And I'm going to build that here. Got it. Now I can take this rail just all the way down. So basically, I'll say anything from the storage that I need to build there will be picked up from here. Although, to be honest, hmm. Roche crop fruit, I'll take this and I'll sweep all of that. And the frost burnt swampy delights crop fruit to serve. And that's the cooked fish, I'll sweep that. That one should not be menu use only. Let me just check that this one's not. Okay, so they'll be swept and they should be going down there. Yes, they should. Why is the edible not here? Huh? Am I not getting edible on this command? Hmm. Okay, so this one will now be. Take the edibles and that will be. What is it called? It's called barbecue and it. What was the other one I wanted to send over? Cooked fish, right? Cooked fish. Cooked fish, yes. And I'm gonna do allow a manual use, but only there. This also means that if I want like copper or something, I can just hook that up and it should be good to go. Got it? Let's see. Uh, hopefully these will, oh, hatching egg delivered. Okay, so this one is picking up a hatching egg. I'm not super happy about the hatchling eggs though. I'd really like them to not be hatchling eggs. Breathability is bad here. Food is bad. Okay, food, bad breathability is okay, but it'll need to be vented here. Uh, that one is kind of problematic, but what? look at that. We've gotten so much more space here. This space is what we need for future. And right first, it's just gonna look like an absolute mess out here. But eventually, I hope, It'll be nicer and we can actually just start building it. And I don't know what this one is for. This this one. Oh, uh, it's a minor volcano. I can see that. I don't want to top that. I don't want to top that. There and there. Try to not take this one just yet. This one's okay. It's casually getting over there. So you can see there's tons of stuff we need. Let's take that and ooh, algae we'll take some algae because that's kind of our food as well i want the rust the oxidizer running i want these diffusers running as well i just want all of it running the ethanol this is going to be my ethanol ethanol reservoir somewhere or maybe i'll put it somewhere else i don't care i don't know we'll, we haven't decided yet but my main concern is trying to get some more uh, critters on the other planet and getting the automated. So this one would actually be nice to be automating it. Uh, what do we have here? Ah, come on. This one is for the food. Uh, that's really ironic because that could actually have been like... It should be... Okay. Ah, right. I can't use that one anyway. So I'm going to take the next one. This one will be all the stuff that has to be taken into that location. Which means again... I do love doing this kind of automation. And it's one of the things that I really want to be, get more of in the space. And it's kind of one of the things I want it to become my style of playing. And that's going to go up to here. Yep. Like that. Oh, trapped. <sighs> trapped. And who is it again? It's St. Cabbage. Is St. Cabbage, is St. Cabbage getting stuck because he is unable to, no, he can dig any, no, he can't dig anything. Okay, we'll give you one more dig. Uh, shouldn't you be able to dig that one now? Yeah, you can dig your way out. Oh, hello. That's actually nice. Uh, why are you not digging? Someone dig that out, right? Yeah, you can dig through this abys light now, so no complaints. Probably should actually not take that. And, you know, alert. See? 
you can get your way out of trouble. Yeah, okay, so that also highlights having a builder without a uh, without having matching digging is pretty dangerous when hollowing out a planet. Are we getting anywhere at extraction on this one? Yes, it's not detecting anything. So unbreathable gas, carbon dioxide, that should get it sweeping. All right, that'll start cleaning things out. I'll also build some. These, I think they might get something, pour some water out, but I want, made a mess. Who made a mess? St. Cabbage made a mess. You are kind of useless, aren't you? Is that, are you stuck? Yeah, you're kind of stuck there. You're kind of stuck. All right, uh, let's get this part done so you can actually get out. Yeah. Actually, just get them, like, a lot. So you can work your way out there. Uh, maybe you should clean up your pee. Just, just saying. Okay, so at least you're working. That's nice. And you know what? Actually, you might dig your way so far down that you actually need this one to be up as well. What is it with cabbage? Let's uh, focus this uh, the rest of this episode on getting a kill room up and running. And that will be obviously... F the food is not great. Uh, where is the inbound of that? Oh, it's down here. Yep. So this one should also be... You know, this actually should be changed again. Take this out. And instead, get this one. Uh, I think it like to just go on this line because this is going to be like a dump line. So let's do that. And then from there, dumping there. And then the food will be taken and stored safely. So that one. Also. I do love this. Part. There. So, that will also be done, and I'm going to highlight this, so that, basically, <clears throat> when we get this, do we have it now? Yes, we do. And on the other planet, let's have a look. I don't think we're done yet. Oh, get back with this line. Ah, of course, we're not getting that line yet, and I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to get this. Unfortunately, that's how we do it. What I would now let's walk our way through what we want. We want two mechanized airlocks here, and they will be the ones that push water up. All right, well done. Here. So the idea is that I will have six tiles of water. The doors will lock and push the water up, and then any critters stuck at this point will be killed. Uh, no, don't do that. We don't know what's inside the walls, so let's get this one. And so that's going to be built. We're going to develop this as well. And I'm going to get this one. And we are going to just delete all of this. I will also take. I don't mind this flowing through, so that's not a problem. Uh, this one, pipe blocked. Is it still blocked? It must be. Almost. Almost not anymore. Combat. Uh, that was on the second planet. That's fine. That's fine. Because we do have another one. You turn into food. I'm going to kill you. All those sage hatchings, just get rid of them. All right. This one is the stuff that I want back on the first planet, which means that's just going to be all critter eggs, I think. Yeah, all critter eggs, just send them back. And this one will be specific food. And that is already made because that's going to go to another thing. So, like frost buns, cooked fish, bristle berries, uh, drop fruit preserve. If those end up mock roots, pickled, roast, and swampy diet. And uh, if they for some reason end up down there, through sweeping or anything like that, then they will go through that one and land in this location. That means now, uh, this part here, when we get our deliveries going through, they'll come through very, very quickly. Come on, you can do it. Come on, just too nasty, you can do it. Oh, one, one more, one more. Yeah, yeah, sneeze, but keep going. There, I think we got it. A very minuscule amount of stuff coming in. 
empty. Ah, there we go. 1,000 grams of cooked fish. Okay, th th it's it's weird. That's it? What? It That's it? Hmm. I need to make sure that... Cooked fish. Where the hell is the cooked fish now? And... When do frost burns as well? Uh, where are we? Frost burns. Sweep. And... Okay, that's what we have. I will monitor this all the way through. Hmm. Let's see if it works and see if we now have fully automated it. There's a lot of work to automate things, but once it's automated, it's good. And it goes in. And it comes out. Go, go, go. Just realized we don't have a bridge. That one. And it jumps, the, falls down there. Whoop. Get the cooked fish in there. And we now have it available to here. It's not a lot of cooked fish. My big issue is where the hell is the rest of the cooked fish? And barbecue. Do we have barbecue? Nope. Do we have frost bunch? Yes. Do we have cooked fish? Nope. Okay, so that's kind of maybe because it's been shipped off or it's unavailable. Ugh. That frost burn thing. Let's try and get it. Let's try and sweep that one and it should go. Hmm. It's really surprising that I don't have that here. <clears throat> but it'll go into this one. Let's see. This one edible and also frost buns. Let's see if we get an errand. Okay, there's Arthurland has it as number one. As a new printable, I'll see what we can get. Food? Yeah, yeah. let's go for some food on the second planet until we have a more stable supply. That one, crop food preserved. Thank you very much. Like, should that be picked up now? Uh, that one, grub fruit preserve. Okay, you're just eating it. Mm. This one should be the edibles. It should not be swipe only. No. Okay, we're getting more. We're getting more pickled. We're getting more cooked food, food, and we're getting less barbecue because it's being eat, eaten. And there we go. Now we also have our automated eggs coming back to the other planet. That is great. So let's follow the egg. Uh, not yet. Oh, suffocating. Oh, I don't like that. Well, well, well. If this isn't cabbage, how did you get there? Oh my god, this is not great. This is not great because that's not a lot of room left. Um, is there any way? Where's the closest oxygen to you? Uh, that's not oxygen. That is oxygen. There is no oxygen. You might be able to get this little teeny bit of oxygen or getting back up there. So what I need to do is find the fastest way that you can get up. And I don't think it's actually ladders or I think it's ladders, but I think it's like um, that one and that one and that one. I think that should be enough. And do we have, what have we built them out of? Top priority, igneous rock. Do we have igneous rock here? Uh, Mafic rock? What, is, what do we have here? Maybe I make it... Uh, cabbage, please move there. Nope. Uh, then this one should probably be built out of Mafic rock then. That one. Top priority. Nope. Come on. Come on, Darren. Build. Yeah. No? Why are you not doing this one? DJ Cleric is doing that one. Where's DJ Cleric? Mm, don't think that's great. You're not particularly fast, are you? You forgot about it. Okay, St. Cabbage is now doing it. St. Cabbage is doing it. Eh, 
that is not great. Ow! No! Why is it always in cabbage? Why is it always him? Oh my god. Oh no. Ah. Oh no. Please don't tell him. Oh no. Can I just save and load and just... I'll, I'll just I'll just load right I, I'll no one will no one will all right I don't think he watches YouTube so so no one tell him that no one tell him that uh, that's why uh, well I'm not gonna cheat so okay you kidding me Peter are you doing it again you want What's wrong with you? Get out. Run. Get some food. Ah. Freaking me out here. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. I'm, I'm still desperately trying to build stuff. Uh, this one. Cool. Tap that, tap that. There was just some water there. That one should be fine. No water in it. Correct. Uh, so, we want to make some water here. And that's actually going to be fine. That one and these two go up. We obviously need some power in this. So... That one's good. And what I need as well is I want a critter farming station there. And I want to be able to get down there. Otherwise, that's not going to work. And then I need a grabber. I can make the grabber here. Now we'll grab this one. And then I need to be able to drop down the eggs. Uh, that's also a shipping thing. I need to drop eggs down here. And then I need to be picking up the stuff from the dead ones. That's gonna be here. And the dead ones things will just be... Here. That'll be like the simplest of simple things. It'll go out here and then have a drop down chute. Yep. Everything goes down there. Shoot. And this one will come from... Anywhere that we want, we take eggs, and I guess eggs will also be dropped down here, so. Let's take that one, and I call that the egg thing, and that goes to that one. I'm going to make a filter on this at some point, but for now, this is going to be great. Power. That one, and that one. So this is good. I'm going to power this up here and I'm going to down do some advanced automation bubbly girl and that is oxygen don't care I do care but ah now this is happening again could this one be built here yes it could be built here cool then this one takes out Actually, that's a problem. I'll do that. And take this out. Here. And a shoot. And this one then. Keep prioritizing here. And that one, come on. Just need this one done. That, and that, and then we have the shoot. And then uh, what I need now, we do the automation. I want a cycle timer. That will then count. I have to build it here. And that will go into a 
buffer gate. And is it this way? I think it is. Basically what I want is, I want... There. I want to be able to control that this one is green. And when it turns red, it's the other way around. Isn't it? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Otherwise, I'll just flip these. Uh, I'm also going to need some water in here, but that's... I'm not going to pour it in yet, but I'm going to have to be ready to pour it in. That's going to be like that. Uh, do I have any enough for some... Oh, do I not have the, that yet? Nope, I don't have the incubator. Let's get the incubator then. Oops. All right, let's test the buffer gate. Buffer gate, buffer gate. And that's gonna be like one second, one second. And I have my automation here. That's gonna be active 85%. And then I'm just going to test it. Okay, we'll test it here. So now it's open. That means the water will be down here. Eventually. And this one should close. And then a second later, this one should close. The reason why I make him tiled like this is because if I close them at the same time, it'll destroy the water in there. If I close them one at a time, the water will shift up. And that did not work. Why not? Why did it not work? Why are you sending a red signal? You should definitely be sending a red signal now. Sending red signal. And let's see. Oh, because I have wired these together because I'm an idiot. Ah, yes. Well, that's... Automation wire. Deconstruct. Yes. Keep forgetting this. This one will now be taking... It'll take... Critter, no, not definitely not critter eggs. It'll take uh, the, the edibles. It'll take the bob, the meat from when the the, the hatches drown or whatever they are. It'll take the organic, the eggshells as well. And then I guess that's it. Okay, and then go back here to the automation. There. Obviously, that's going to be how it is. And with the cover, sweet. I'll try again. What are we? What is our problem? We have plenty of food now. What's our problem? Breathability? Yeah, breathability. Especially if they're working down there, it's not great. But just get on with it and don't kill yourself. <clears throat> Did we build the tasteless memorial? Did we um, grab our little accident down here? No. Nope. Let's make sure we get that one. That accident. Otherwise, they'll be keep grieving. I'm gonna test this cycle. And we're just going to go here, so we see if it works. That should close, and then that should close one second later. Perfect. Get that done. And then I can take water in here. And water, seven, enable auto bottle, copy to the other one. Sweet. Where we have your mud, sweep it. And this one is going to take all critter eggs. Why are there no critter eggs here? Hmm. Oxygen, not a problem. Okay, so that, that's low. And all that swept out. That was not intended. But I think this works. All right, now I'm getting a bit confused. Didn't we get from this first planet? How many eggs do we have here? Three, 17 hatchling eggs. Where the hell are you? 10 stone hatchling eggs. All right. Where are the eggs? Aha. Uh -huh. I clicked on the sand, didn't I? Ah! Well, that's not ideal. Deconstruct. Ha! Um, I guess we wrangle all of this. <laughs> Did not see that coming. Hmm. 
That's, but that's okay. It's okay. And uh, that is pretty good, actually. Conveyor rail. More conveyor rails. Make it out of copper. Get that here. Get it in. And... This one has to go out. Deconstruct. Bridge it across and build down in here. This is more water is filling up. I need to get all the way up there and then I'll put all the critters in here as well once it's done. Can I do critter eggs here? Yes, I can do critter eggs. So for now, let's uh, hatch those. That they are all accessible, right? Everything here is that's that's why is this unreachable? One, two, three, four. Unreachable dig, huh? I don't get that. Really doesn't seem unreachable, this rail. Alright, then I'll build a ladder there. If you are not tall enough. Okay, now you don't think so. And I'm gonna sweep. High level sweep, all that crap that's in there. That's also glass. Getting copper ore. That's a lot of copper ore we need to build. And it, it must be done. It must be done. All right, let's look at this. This one is the eggs being picked up from here, going in there, getting dropped off. The reason why I'm not dropping the eggs off directly is because I don't know if it's gonna be eggs. I don't know if that's always only going to be eggs. I, it could be anything. So let's get this one. There. What are you picking up? I don't know. Hatching eggs, you're picking up a stupid amount of hatching eggs. What are you carrying? Arthur Dent. Uh, hatchling eggs. Yeah, awesome. All right, it might work. It might work. Let's see if we can get some. <laughs> okay, we also have a stupid amount of hatchlings here. All right, all right, good stuff. And let's get them in there. They are ready and waiting. Maybe it's because I need more stone hatchling and all the normal hatchlings can't get in there. I don't know. Ice. Sure, we'll take some ice. Okay, picking up there. Hatchling eggs go over here. So that part is now done. Sweet. All right, so what we need now is make this into a room so that um, we now have enough water and this one should be coming soon. I'm just pushing it ahead of us and we're building a few other things. Uh, we are having actually the issue here that there's water, uh, the sludge press where is the sludge press? Is it under refinement? I think it might be sludge press. I'm gonna build it in here, because why not? There, and get some plumbing. That one will just go straight through here. That one. Yeah. It has to be done, that one. I'll do priority six on this one and I'll also build this one. So now it will actually be a room and that means these can be it's done. I think I have enough water and this one is coming along shortly. So let's see if it actually works and it will kill this hatchling. The thing is if we get some stone hatchling I have to grab them and send them back out to other locations fast. I don't like those flopping. We might die there. All right so this should be coming. Yeah here it goes. Water comes up. This hatchling is drowning. Oh, another one spawned. Oop, holding his breath. That might survive because it can hold its breath at almost eight, almost 15% of the cycle, but not quite. And if we have this, we actually have an automated critter kill room uh, that will take basically any hat, any anything from any of the planets. There we go. Okay, you survived, but the other one turned into meat. Look at that. Picking up. The meat goes here. Drops in. 
and gets picked up by something. All right. Uh, we don't have the one here yet. Okay. So we need one more. That one. This will be for food. And that goes meat in there, right? Meat goes in there, then. And this one probably... Allow manual use for stuff like... Meat. Okay, so they are actually manually taking it in there because they can't take it out from there again. Okay, so that's how I, I kind of handled it in the semi in a dupe powered automatic way oh look at that we're actually getting grub grubs in there uh that's gonna give us a lot of food is that a bad deal mm, well we like the grub 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 grubs are just insane amount of food that is perfect all right so look at that we are now getting the next kill zone is up and running uh also really like to get the water back in here so they don't they flop they they flop less that means this one all right, so I think we're pretty uh, pretty happy about this. And let's see, do we have the memorial done? Yes, we'd have the memorial done. Oh, man. All right, so recap on what we've done now. We've done is every single... We are actually going to... Uh, we'll retire this one because it's actually not really necessary. And this one will retire because every single thing will be picked up by these. Carry it back. Critter eggs will be picked up and brought in here, which is now stuck because of that thing. And okay, that has to be done. Come on, come on, guys. This, this I want it to be fully automated. Make it fully automated. And there we are. The eggs are coming in. They are almost all of them are normal eggs. And basically, what I want to do is I want to put them in here. Look at that. Ah, look at that. Look at all the meat that's generated. Wow. And what we are getting now is inbound. A lot of eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine eggs are coming in. And as soon as they come in, they'll be moved over. And I'm going to just ranch these as well. And they plop down there, and they will be put in here. All of it is now automated, and it's absolutely glorious. Eggs are coming in, and yeah. Well, there you have it. That was a, that was a long and arduous journey, but what we actually got out of it was was an automatic killer, an automatic uh, ranching setup that automatically kills anything that hatches and it will uh, ferry the stuff automatically up to be processed and once it's processed it will actually be uh, why is it not powered uh okay once it's powered it'll depending on what it is go to the right planet there that's pretty good and this one will take like uh raw materials edibles edible things Stuff that can be used for food, bok jellies, not the cooked, and grizzled berries, crop fruit, meat definitely, and not the yeah, paco filet, and spindly, and that's it. Those will now be coming up here, and I don't think I need, I might need this one. And that one needs to be here, just, just to get this done. Cool, though. Thank you very much everyone for joining and I hope you are enjoying this series and seeing the progression. Now we've kind of gotten food very much under control and highly automated. We're going to build lots of ranches, hatch ranches on this planet and the other planet is not as big so we don't have as much room and then we'll build something else on that one. Next objective will be rocket launching and working our way towards that little bit of oil that we have so that we can potentially and probably and preferably make some uh, make some steel and get that going. So thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care and stay effective.